Yo, guess who's back, y'all? It's your boy Ellis. I know I haven't uploaded for a week. I've been on vacation. But, um, today I have a Forza live modding sesh, and I'm gonna change the name to ModCom because I think it sounds better. So it's short for, like, modding commentary. So, yeah, today we're gonna be on Horizon, which I have never done uh, a mod sesh on, or I should call them a ModCom now, but, yeah, we're gonna be doing a, um,. Ford Raptor uh, wheelie truck. By the way, this Bugatti, I have no idea how well you, can, you guys can hear that sound, but if you can, I'm gonna be doing this in like a later video, so yeah. So we're gonna be doing a Raptor, um, and I've, I've been experimenting with this car for like two weeks now. It's been a long process. I, you know, it's kind of hard to get like a four and a half thousand pound like truck off the ground without like uh having to tweak the suspension and tons of other crap to like make it easier but um i try to keep the power realistic but you just can't with this thing so in the end we're gonna i'm planning to swap the um the shelby gt500 engine in it which makes um about seven 7,000 horsepower or something like that, so, yeah, so I had to mod that, um, I probably should mod the original engine, but I didn't, so, see how good that screen looks, that looks like a little G using a capture card, some of these screens you can totally tell with, like, camera, and some of these you can't even tell, like, right now, this could be, like, a Chinese capture card that they made in Vietnam for 17 cents, but, what can I do you for, kid? But yeah, I went on um, the whole list of stuff I've done to this car. Is I have um, obviously the engine. I'm gonna be using the Shelby GT500 engine. I'm gonna install that. Um, I have the drivetrain from the Celine S5S Raptor. And yes, by the way, drivetrain swaps are possible on Horizon. They just didn't do them for some reason. I have no idea why. Um, converted a single turbo. For a better um, high end boost, uh, added instant shift, just the basic stuff. Um, specific, can't talk right now. Suspension is stiffer. Um, let's see right now. Actually, you can't really tell right now, but um, as soon as I add power, you'll see. Did I convert a single turbo or not? I did. There we go, that's why. This is actually the single turbo from the. Um, the Mercedes Gullwing, which is not really a loss to me because the percentage of people that use the single turbo in that car is like next to none, so. Uh, the roll cage is modded, see how it adds that acceleration, it adds like tons of grip in the back. Um, way reduction, do that. 4,800 pounds, see it's hard to get that off the ground. 813 horsepower. Yeah, I got no, I got another Stance Wars video coming up. Um, I have a lot of fun making those. This time I'm gonna try to um, instead of having to go one car at a time, I'm gonna try to mix the angles. Try to get the um, like see have one shot of a of like one car and then have a shot of another car instead of having like five shots of one car and then five shots of another. So I'm gonna try to do that. I think it looks better that way. Uh, so we are currently making 7,800 horsepower, weighing in about 4,800 pounds, and I haven't done tires yet. You see, these springs make it a lot stiffer. I don't know if I'm going to be using those, though. I think I'm going to be sticking with the stock ones, because I experimented with this car a bit before video, and I found that these work better, so... Yeah... Uh, tire compound, I don't think it really matters, but I guess I'll use race tires. See, rears, uh, normally they're 315s, and up here those are 450s. Doesn't matter, the fronts are gonna keep those skinny. I say skinny, and then the 315 stocks. But... Let's see. There's not gonna be any wheels that are gonna be big on this car. Yes, we can make the wheels a lot bigger, so don't like. What about that? 
Alright, those are the wheels I use in the Subaru. So yeah, one of those stance cars is, um, I try to use wheels that a lot, not a lot of people use. Like, no one, I've never seen anyone use these on a car. Because they're just like so ugly, but they fit on certain cars, so. Yeah. Yeah, I've oh yeah, been, been tinkering with hex editing again. I somewhat successfully did a exhaust swap on an RX-7 and Forza 4. I, it shows up in Forza Studio and I plug it into the game and then do, there's no exhaust pipe. I still think that's kind of a success because the stock one's ugly. It's like this fat canister and then there's like a tiny, two tiny little pipes coming out of it and it's really stupid. So. As long as it's gone, I don't really care. Turns out Defects tutorial is wrong. Change the part name and half the car won't show up in Forza Studio. It'll just be like the rear end of the car. So, yeah. Joke's on him, still found out. He's actually kind of good. Alright, 17s on the stock, and we go to 24s. 22s look good. Try to keep it like a fat tire in the back. 19s. 19s in the back. Doesn't that look so clean? On those wheels? Those are the Challenger wheels. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I want to do the light bar. Um, that looks cool. I'll do that. Get mine on the fast way, ski mass way. Big money, big money, money, money. I think we're pretty much done. In terms of the build. So. Guess we're just gonna drive around now. Actually, um. Ah, uh, never mind. Well, actually, yeah, I wanna, I wanna go, um, paint shop. Sorry, guy about that. See right there, that totally looks like a capture card. And I go in the garage and it doesn't look like one. If you just took a screenshot of that, you could not tell I'm using a camera. What? Apparently my car wanted to vape for like half a second, so. But yeah, this thing will do wheelies all the way up to about um, mid fourth gear, and then it'll just kind of like fall down, so. It's pretty cool. But, um, see, uh, what we can do. I don't think I finished the fullest of the mod, so I have the Shelby engine swap converted to rear-wheel drive and single turbo. Um, has the Selene S5S drivetrain, instant shift, uh, wheel spacers, wider wheels in the back. Stiffer springs, which we didn't install, it is the modded roll cage. That doesn't look bad, I kinda like that. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, increased turbo boost. Have that too. You know what? I'm just looking like a military green, that looks cool. Like a military green. That doesn't look bad, it's kinda like a brownish. How's this thing looking dark red? Oh shoot, that's nice. I'm getting that. Hey, Luby still at a pace. It's too nice. Whoa. That counts as the wing? Ain't that black. That's cool. I didn't even know that counts as the wing. But that's cool. Oh no, I. There, why doesn't it show up right there? That's where it didn't show up. Alright. Um, see if I want any decals. I got tons of Forza 4 vinyls. I don't really paint that much in Forza 4, but. I used to paint a lot in Horizon 2, but I made this myself, 
I doubt myself. Just saved all the other stuff I haven't used. I don't think there's anything I want here. Definitely not getting a Slam Society sticker on a wheelie truck. But I think that's kind of one of that. I get mine the fast way. Ski mask way. So why is my car deciding to vape for two seconds? This thing is just crazy. This thing can do 320 plus miles an hour. I go to my profile stats. Records, uh, top speed, 320 miles an hour. So, that's why I did in this thing. But uh, I'm looking into making a kind of a super power car again, kind of like the Forza 4 cars where they make like 40,000 horsepower, something like that. But this is the most powerful car right now, and it's 7,000 horsepower. I just haven't. Invested my time in doing that. I just don't think it's worthy of my time right now. So, yo, I just murdered an E type. I'll try to get to the freeways or I can test this thing. I don't have fast travel anywhere, so I can do that. I'll just drive there. Oh, yeah, the fun thing is you can, uh, can jump over cars. Yo, that was a. I don't even know how many, 720, I don't know how many spins that was. The cool thing is, like, a, especially like the Lamborghinis and the supercars that are shaped like a wedge. Like, watch, as soon as I find another traffic car. Oh, that's the backfire, by the way. Why is there no traffic cars when I need them? There's one. I right, watch this. And jump in the air, you use them as a ramp. Oh, shoot. I didn't know that a tree was, like, transparent. I'm not transparent. You know what I mean? Yeah, on my vacation, I visited some relatives in, uh, in Los Angeles or in that area. And, um, I went to Six Flags. While I was there, so that was pretty cool. Um, I, you know that Lux Luther ride, the the one that drops you like 400 feet. I went on that. That's pretty cool ride. It's weird because it's like it's more it's scarier when they take you up than dropping you because like you can't see where the top is and they drop you like as soon as you get to the top. So didn't do Superman one though because it was like an hour wait and I just didn't get around to it. So. I'm not even joking when I say, like, the Superman ride sounds like a jet engine, like, like, this local fair that I, they had in my town, they had, like, a jet drag car that has, like, a jet engine on it, it was literally, like, twice as loud as that, and I don't even know how it was that loud, it used magnets and stuff, so, I get that it's going fast, but I still don't know how it's able to make that much noise, but, um, this thing's just, like, uncontrollable. Take money, take money, money, money. Who's that peeping in my window? Wow, the feds on me now. Yeah, this is basically Impossible's mod on like cocaine or whatever. This thing's crazy. I think his had a 4,000 something horsepower, and this one has 7,000 something. This one's on race tires too, I think his is on street tires. Yeah, some another mod I did was a uh, Texas 2K cars in this game. I gave cars like the 4GT and the, the ZR1 Vet, the Lamborghini, the GTR, I gave them all. Um, adding the race cam or something like that, and exhaust gives you like 2,000 something horsepower. GTR gave a, a two two gear power glide. Um, I'm the gears are way too short though. It tops out at like 100 something. 
Oh shoot. Yo, I did Wombo combo. I am Sean. Oh. Let's see how fast we can get. Thing is about having this modded uh thing is it's so so much, so much understeer. All right, 318. Oh shoot. How many people were in that car? Ripped. Jesus crazy fun. It's one of those cars you just mess around with open Oh shoot. This murder charger. I don't really care how many priests I murder, I care how many chargers I murder. Who needs handling when you can have seven thousand horsepower? Said every domestic guy domestic car guy in existence. Who needs handling? Who needs handling when you got this much torque? The JDM guys are like Who needs displacement when I have my VTEC? I'm gonna try to break my old record. I don't think I'm going to. I just did you have to reach 330. You can reach 330 at some point. Oh, shoot. This thing's basically a death trap of a truck. But it's so fun to play around. I swear, if this thing is re like real life, it'd probably blow your front struts out within an hour. This thing weighs like 40, 100 pounds. You do a wheelie that high, blow your front struts first time. Unless you got like straight up Fox Rally shocks in there. But I think the Ford Raptor actually does come with Fox shocks. I'm not sure. I think it does though. People ask me why because I love doing movies at 200 plus miles an hour. Love doing that. Oh shoot. Yo, I just did a two wheel for like. Sometimes when you disable car rolls, you can do two wheels for like infinite time until you hit something or car rolls back over. Let's do a speed we can set. The only cars this thing can't drive over are the, the Kenworth truck and the bus. It can actually drive over the Ford F-350 monster truck, which is crazy. Can you hear that idol? Hear that? Throw sparks for days. That's the longest I've ever gotten into wheelie. I've never gotten in, into wheelie in fifth gear. But... I hate these stupid barriers in the middle of the freeway. Like, why are those there? We have those in California, but they don't break every 50 feet. They're there for like 20 miles before they break. Those things are just there to mess you up. Bro. Probably the only person in this game to ever do a wheelie at 240 miles an hour. I never noticed that there was concrete barriers here. Huh. I think that's pretty much it, guys. Pretty much that's all I'm really doing, but I got some more Horizon mods coming up. Next video I do is going to be the Stance Wars video. So stay tuned for that and subscribe. And yeah, see us and uh, comment. Um, you guys got any mod requests? They're still doing those. Uh, yeah, so it was coming out.